Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts. Welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, today is not a Minecraft Monday. Today is gonna be a miscellaneous Monday. So instead of showing you guys a tutorial, I wanted to share with you my experience visiting Art Cow Beats for the second time. If you haven't seen this video yet where I visited Art Cow Beats for the first time, please go check that out before you finish the rest of the video. It's a lot longer and gives a more detailed look at what the Art Cow warehouse looks like. And if you are completely new to what Art Cow beads are, they are basically fused beads just like Perler or Hama beads or Pizzla beads and you make like these little sprites with them and they are the reason why I have this colorful rainbowy wall. The first time I visited Art Cow Beats headquarters was in the summer of 2018 and the second time was in the summer of 2019, so just a year apart. And I do want to emphasize that all the footage you're about to see was filmed a year ago when everything was very different and um, I do hope you guys are doing well, especially um, everyone at Art Cow Beats. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to have visited their warehouse twice and to have gotten the chance to explore their warehouse, film in there, and also getting to pick some of my own supplies out to bring back home to Canada. When my dad and I first arrived at the warehouse, we went to the break room to talk with Fan and Doris, who you may remember from the first time I visited Art Cal and we just chatted, ate some snacks, they brought me a present which was this really cute set of cats and I think this is a cat from an anime. This is so cute. They gave me these really cute cats. They're so nice. What a great gift. Thank you. <laughs> I love cats and I think they remembered that I studied animal biology so I really appreciated the gift and I have these cats in my bedroom. I brought a very Canadian gift which was maple syrup and maple cookies. I have no idea if they liked it but um, I hope they did enjoy eating them and trying some of our pure Canadian maple syrup. After we were done catching up, I noticed that in a year, their office kind of changed a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, they also changed up their front entrance. Look at that. This is what I saw when I came right in. Yeah, this cutter is designed by a Germany designer. Oh. Yes. It's our cow's little mascot. Yeah, That's mascot. Cute. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. I never realized this, but their whole company logo is it's made out of beads. <laughs> I never noticed this last year. When I visited Art Cal the first time, I really had no idea that the sign we took a picture in front of was made up of thousands of their midi beads. Now let's check out the storage area where I got to choose any of the supplies that I needed. Hey guys, so I'm back here at Art Cal Bead Headquarters. They are letting me choose whatever beads I want to take home, which is so nice of them. So I'm looking here to see what beads I want. There's just so much stuff here, so I don't know what to choose. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. I'm going to use this color chart to decide what colors I want to pick. Their colors are all labeled here by number. I'm looking for this color, S31. Let's see, where is it? All right, all right, got this one. Doris is here with me too. Doris. Come, Doris. She's gonna help me pick out some beads. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Whoa. These are some like super dark greens. Oh, S150. Okay, got some lavender. As you can see, there were so many different compartments and different colors to choose from. I had such a hard time deciding what I wanted to take home, but first I decided to take some of the most basic supplies. So far, I already got this it's like a mini vacuum to pick up mini beads they also gave me a set of these a mini beads these are the soft ones that i've never tried before and then i also i'm stocking up on my white midi beads and black midi beads as well as the white and black mini beads they are also giving me this hexagonal pegboard that can connect together. So this one 
can be attached like this. So you can make like a huge honeycomb. And that's pretty cool. I've never really used hexagonal boards before, but now I'm gonna try to make something really geometric and fun with this. Also stocking us on some acrylic rods, which are super useful for my 3D projects. They have so many different colors that I could be using. Oh yeah, this I love this blue color. I'm gonna get some of that. And then, ooh, what else do they have here? Do they have, these are striped, oh, these are like striped beads. I've never actually tried these before, so maybe I'll grab some of that. Wow, there's just so many choices. Now I'm looking for some more mini bead colors to fill up what I've been using. And let's see, I need some more red beads for sure, because I use so many of those. Here, yeah. So here's the red ones. I just need a couple more of those. I think I was a bit overwhelmed by all of the products surrounding me. I didn't even know what to choose anymore. And I already had a lot of the mini beads that they gave me last year, so I didn't want to take too much. I guess this is what it's like for the workers at Art Cow's Warehouse to package people's orders every day. So it was really fun to search for all the beads and pretend to package my own order. Now let's take a look at the Art Cow mini bead packaging machine, which I didn't get a chance to see in action the first time I visited. Did. So they're preparing to pack these mini beads. They're packing some white mini beads. Oh my gosh, it looks like rice. This is a cool machine that will package all of these. Getting to see this huge industrial ceiling and mini bead filling machine reminded me of watching how it's made on Discovery Channel. You can see up close, this is what the packaging looks like before it's all folded and sealed into the mini bead bags. It runs down the machine kind of like a long snake or a chute. The back of the bag is sealed first and then the top of the bag, allowing it to be filled with a thousand mini beads. And then on the bottom is this sharp blade that will cleanly chop each individual bead bag off of the chain of mini beads. Once a bead bag is cut, it slides down this little ramp into a tray where a worker will be waiting to attach the corresponding color code sticker onto it. Hope this gives you an idea of how mini beads are packaged at Art Cow's warehouse. I definitely thought it was pretty interesting, so that's their C01 mini beads. After we were done at the warehouse, Fan actually took my dad and I to dinner with Doris and we ate in a local restaurant, it was really good. We talked a little bit, even though my limited Chinese did not really allow me to understand too much or communicate too much, but I tried and my goal is that if I ever get to see them again, I will improve my Chinese and be able to speak with them more fluently. So that pretty much wraps up the second time I went to Art Cow Bead headquarters. I hope you liked watching me pick out my own beads and if you ever had the opportunity to do what I did and visit Art Cow Bead headquarters and take whatever beads you wanted, whatever kits, any supplies that you want, what would you choose? Because I definitely had a hard time picking what I wanted. I didn't want to take too much because I also had a suitcase that was pretty small. I want to say thank you, xie to Art Cow Beats again for letting me visit them and make this video. It's always fun to talk with Doris and Fan. I still can't believe that I was even able to do this and Looking back on it now, I'm so glad that I got to visit them. Also, if you're interested in getting some Art Cow Beads yourself, you can check out the links in the description below. There are affiliate links and you can use the code CUTIECRAFTS for 7% off of your order. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys next time with another Cutie Craft. Bye! Yeah,
字母模板。哦、嗯。啊